Hey guys, welcome back to another video, Shaman J. So today we're gonna to be talking about Xiaomi and how they're getting ready to blow the market away in the mid-range game. Uh, so these devices that they're bringing out, um, you've got the, um, now there's three I wanna talk about, but you've got the Redmi Note 9 Pro and you got the Redmi Note 9 Pro Max. Now there's not much difference in between these. I thought that the Max would have like this massive screen over the, over the Pro. Uh, but that's not the case. They have the same size screen, 6.7, 6.67, so basically 6.7 inch display, 1080p, the 20 by 9 ratio. So ultimately, folks, what you're looking at is the size of the S20 Plus or the A71, or the A70, that style and height of phone. Uh, 450 nits brightness uh, on the screen is what they're saying. So that's going to be really impressive. Uh, you've got a Snapdragon 720 in both of these, so that should be a 5G. They're 8 nanometer chips. Uh, and then you have... Um, on the max, uh, you've got 6 gig, 64, 6 gig, 128, and then 8 gig, 128. And then on the, the Pro, uh, you've got uh, 4 gig, 64, and 6 gig, 128. Now, the cameras is where they actually different, uh, differ at. So you still have an 8 megapixel ultra wide on both. Uh, but the main shooter is a wide 64 on the max and a 48 wide on the Pro. Uh, which you probably won't be able to tell too much difference, but then you have a, a 5 megapixel macro uh, on the uh, Max looks like and a 2 megapixel macro uh, on the uh, Pro and then they both have a 2 megapixel depth sensor is what is being advertised. Now when these actually come out, we'll see what they actually say, but Xiaomi has pushed these out. So you have a 32 megapixel on the front of the Max and then you have a 16 on the front of the Pro, the non-Max. Uh, but other than that, I don't see much difference. They both have a side-mounted fingerprint reader. Uh, and they both have a 5,020 milliamp hour battery inside. A 33 milliamp, a 33 watt charger for the uh, Max. Uh, and then the Pro has an 18 watt charger. So all that is said, all that aside, you got uh, some, it comes in a black, a white, and a blue. Uh, and these should be really impressive, man. I mean, I don't think these are going to be bad in any kind of way. Uh, I think Xiaomi is one of the better companies out there for bringing mid-range devices. They push out some fantastic phones, and they always get overlooked in the U.S. That's just the way it works. Uh, the U.S. does not, you know, the U.S. market is not about uh, the um, Xiaomi phones. So, moving on to the Black Shark uh, 3 Pro, and then you have the Black Shark 3. Uh, so these phones, same thing, you know, they'll be close um, in specs, uh, but, you know, you're going to have to uh, do your research on these yourself uh, because I'm just putting them in here and looking online at the specifications. I'm really excited for both of these. Um, the pricing on them is going to be a little bit different. Looks like the Pro version or, uh, of this has the 8 gig, 256 gig storage, and then you've got a 8 gig, 128 gig storage on the regular three. Uh, but I'm looking for differences between these two devices, and um, the Pro is a little bit more weighty and it's a little bit thicker and wider. Looks like so. Well, no, same about the same thickness, but uh, it's a little bit wider and bigger. It says. Uh, and that's because it has a 7.1 inch display opposed to the uh, Black Shark 3, which has a 6.67 inch display. So both massive displays, uh, but the the Pro version has a 2K display coming in at uh, 1440p by 3120, and then you have 1080p by 2400 on the uh, 3. Both of these are really good. They both have the Snapdragon 865 inside. I mean, I'm sure these phones are not going to retail for a lot. Uh, but for the Pro model, you have the option of a 512 gig with 12 gigs of RAM, and that's totally impressive right there, and that's the way it should be. Cameras on it are a 64 and a 64 and a 13, so the cameras are exactly the same. 64, 13, and 5, and then a 20 megapixel wide on the front. That's, that's going to be really good. Records in 4K at 60, it's the highest peak. Stereo speakers, just everything about it, it's, it's just going to be nice. UFS 3.0 storage, this is something that people don't um, push out very much, but... Uh, and talk about but you know the price difference is going to be one's going to be about 900 bucks and the other's about 550 or 560. Uh, so in screen fingerprint in screen fingerprint reader and a 5000 uh, milliamp hour on the the pro version and then a 4720 on the non pro i mean these are generally you know pretty much the same phones ultimately you get a 65 watt charger on the bigger brother and a um uh, it's as advertised. You don't get them, I believe, 
but it says that it can handle that uh, 18 watt and a 30 watt and an 18 watt magnetic uh, so that's pretty sweet so I think the pro version actually does come with the uh, 65 watt but the non pro version I think it's just saying it's compatible I don't know yet didn't do too much research on these but uh, you get a platinum black version and an armor gray for the pro model uh, and then uh, the other one comes in star silver armor gray and lightning black so this is something that I think is going to be really impressive but I think people are still going to overlook it for some reason and I hope they don't I hope I can get my hands on some of these phones uh, because they're, they're, they're phones that are blowing out the competition uh, and offering more like that 7.1 inch display on the Xiaomi um, Black Shark 3 Pro that's impressive 1440p 7.1 inches that's an impressive set of specs on a phone it already outclasses pretty much a lot of the things I have in my catalog so hopefully these are gonna do well uh, and uh, I hope that the, I'm able to get my hands on some of these phones especially the 9 Pro and the 9 Pro Max I should be able to get those because those are those are probably going to be reasonably priced around if after the conversion and people start selling them in the U.S. maybe between 250 and 350. So I'll, I'll try to grab some of those. Uh, but you know, ultimately the Black Shark 3 Pro is what I really want. I really want to test that out. So, uh, it's your man Jay. What do you think about the Xiaomi phones that are coming? I've got more videos coming, guys. Uh, more vlogs and you know discussion videos in the news. Uh, but what do you think about these Xiaomi devices? I think they're actually pretty impressive. And I think they deserve more credit than I'm giving them. And pretty much the tech world will probably give. Are you a Xiaomi fan? Do you have any of the previous versions of these devices? Let's talk about it in the comments. It's your man Jay. I'll see you in the next one. Take care.